Hi guys, I'm in Los Angeles, I'm in Tastemade Studios, and I'm joined by the lovely Vaga Brothers! Hello! This is exciting, isn't it? Yes, man. We finally meet Excited. up. We've been talking for months. Uh, we have, we've been dancing around a collaboration for many months, and now we've finally done it. And we are going to do it in style, my oh, friends. Yeah. How are we doing it? We're doing it healthy style. We're going to do a delicious roast sweet potato with mm. pan-fried kale, some pumpkin seeds, some sriracha yogurt, and some chickpeas as well. So the first thing with this recipe is that you need to get the sweet potatoes off frozen because they take the longest. Okay. So Marco, you're going to go in there with uh, the sweet potatoes. Excellent. Just make sure you don't straight over there. Here. Those sweet potatoes are going into the oven for about 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. We are bringing our sweet potatoes to the next level. I like it. Friends, so okay? what do we do next? Step? So you can fill it with lots of different things, but one of my favorite fillings is this kale super seed chickpea what? mixture. So what we're going to do is take out the stem. Now you can do this with a knife, yeah. but I actually think the easiest way to do it is just rip off the okay. leaves, just Easy. like this. Bam, so bam. yeah, easily done. You guys are going to crack on with that. So we've got a pan on nice and hot, a little bit of oil going in here. We're going to pan fry our garlic and some chili pepper and the kale. But the one thing I did want to ask you, because these guys are fantastic travel vloggers, travel filmmakers. You. When you were on the road all that time, how do you eat healthy? How do you stay healthy on the road? You don't. You really? don't. You try everything. I don't think you should be too restrictive about what you eat. You don't want to be so focused on your health that you miss out on the great things. This is very true. You yeah. know? But you can also like just stay active. When we get to cities, go running is a great way to kind of see a new city. And if you're just on like a foodie quest, yeah. yeah. Just walk between places. So if you've had a meal, go out, take a stroll. Yeah. Top tips from the Vaga Brothers. And there's more of that over on their channel. So go yeah. and click subscribe. In the pan, I've added my garlic, which is now slightly toast. You've got all the flavor going in there. We're also going to hit it with some chili peppers. Now, I like my kale a bit spicy, so I've gone in there with some chili peppers. Now it's time to go in there with kale. And with this, when you add it in, it tends to sizzle. Now, I do have a tip for cooking your kale. So once you pan fry it like this, just add a little splash of water. And then when it's steaming like this, get on there with a the lid because Kale is such a very thick and fibrous brassica that you need that little bit of steam just to make sure that it cooks down. Because otherwise it just goes a little bit thick and it's thick. We're going to hit it with a tiny bit of sea salt. Nice. And a little bit of black pepper. Nice. <laughs> Clamp it down. Clamp it down. <laughs> it really is spicy and chilly. <laughs> Our kale is nicely wilting down. So at this point, I'm going to go in there with some chickpeas. This okay. is our other healthy ingredient. These are my store cupboard essentials. I have chickpeas on all stages oh, yeah. of my day life. For those of you in the United States, we call these garbanzo beans. Do you? Yeah. See, this is what I always... Are they not called chickpeas? No. Well, they yeah, are. Good. I think it's one of those things where some people call it one thing. It's like potato, potato. But garbanzo, potato. chickpea. You don't, say, <laughs> you don't say potato, though, do you? I don't say potato. I say potato. Yeah. There, there you go. go. We're gonna hit it with some sunflower seeds, and you can toss these in at the end, but I think if you add them to the mixture like this, they start crispy. Yeah, they get yeah. crispy, they can take crunch. on flavor. I have the secret ingredient that is gonna bring this all together and make you want to try this recipe. What is it? This is my little secret, secret ingredient that I've used for chicken, I use for meat. It is a sriracha uh -huh. yogurt. Oh, <laughs> sriracha yogurt, huh? Yes. I'm gonna get you to do the honors. Okay. Mix in that sriracha. Oh yeah, stick it in there. Boom. We've got our spice. It's a spicy kale mix. Our sweet potatoes are now out of the oven and they look and smell pretty good. They're gargantuan. These they are, are the biggest sweet potatoes. But this is what happens when you come to America. Everything is super size. Super size. Yes. Yeah. So we got these. They're nice and moist and tender and all the things you want sweet potatoes to be straight out of the oven. And now we're gonna split these open. So if you go in here now and you press, oh you should God. be able to kind of, oh, like that didn't gone. work at all. <laughs> Finesse, dude. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm pull it apart it. Can we do it together? It yeah. How many hands oh, does it take oh, to split oh, a sweet oh, potato? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like origami. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Wow. It is origami. Oh, yeah. man, look at this. It's like okay. a jack-o'-lantern, kind of. It kind of is. And yeah. it's all about the colors as well. So like you've got it, yeah. serious. Okay, so once you've opened your sweet potatoes with no fault at all, it's time to get filling. And the last little finishing touch is, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta go in there with some super spray. So you guys wow. take some and decorate yours and I'll decorate mine. Oh oh, Wait, wow. that sounds weird. Just keep decorating, everything will be fine. <laughs> mm. It's tasting time. Yeah. Okay, take a little bit of sweet potato, take some of that sriracha sauce, the kale, the hold on. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Good. All right, I got the potato. Mm. Oh. 
Th for me, that is a really exciting, healthy dish because you've got colors, you've got flavor, you've got that really rich sweetness, but you've got the spiciness that just kind of builds. Then you've got that green taste and texture as well from the kale and the pumpkin seeds. For me, this is like my ultimate healthy food, quick fix. It's so easy to make. And what do you guys think? I'd say you got some crunch. It's like smooth with the with the sweet potato cooked nicely. Yep. But this is something that you could make for yourself on a Netflix night. This is something you can make for a dinner party. It's healthy. It's Californian. And it won't healthy. leave you hungry. It's definitely true. Absolutely. So it's a sweet potato and chill, basically. And if you <laughs> like this recipe and you want to see more, the guys and me have made a recipe video over on their channel. So it's it's a I suppose it's a recipe you can take with you traveling. Yeah, yeah. that's cooking for carry on. And if you want the recipe for this delicious sweet potato dish, you can check it out in the box below over on my website. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, give loads of love to the Vaga Brothers, and we will see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Peace.